Hello, uh, this is Ami Diamond. In this episode, I'd like to show you how to create a new tenant, a sandbox that you can play around. So the first thing is you will go to the developer um, link of Microsoft. I will provide the link uh, below. And what we, we will do is we will sign in. Uh, it will ask uh, our mail. So I have here uh, a mail that I've just created. And uh, it might, if, if this is not a Microsoft account, then um, it will ask us to create one. So what we will do one here is to create one. I'll click on create one. And um, I will click next. And uh, I will be asked to, to put the password. And uh, now uh, the code, code will be sent to my mail. So I just received here a mail 6713, 6713. And I will click next. And um, actually, there will be two possibilities, one to create a fast one and one which is customized by ourselves. We will choose the fast one. So here I need to choose something which is a pineapple. <coughs> Where do we see a pineapple? <coughs> we'll do it fast. Another pineapple. Where do we see a pineapple? Here we go. Bum, bum, bum. Here we go. We, okay, okay. We're, we're there. So next thing we need to do is, uh, you see I can slide. So build yourself a team site, and get a team development. Let's look for something that says development platform. Uh, let me see, uh, join Microsoft development program. Let's look for something here that says that we can create a tenant of ourselves. Uh, just a second to where we are. I'll click build app Microsoft Teams. Uh, extend so I'll click here and actually um, you'll see I can uh, decide uh, the country I am and the name of the company I'll just call it share doesn't need to you can just write anything and language and you need to accept and press next. Here we need to read, uh, put a reason why do you want this environment. I'll put personal projects and I can choose here um, what areas do I want to deal with. Power Platform, Outlook, Teams, um, doesn't matter. Just press save. Here you can see I have two options. I have the instant sandbox which gives me uh, users, mails, or teams, SharePoints. And I have also to configure. This takes uh, much longer. You see uh, even two days. So if, if you want to give yourself your own tenant, you need to choose the configure sandbox, but it will take uh, some hours. So in this example, we'll just choose the instant sandbox and go to next here we will choose region i'll choose europe uh, i'll give a name to my user and the password will be whatever i decide
second. And I will next press continue. I will put my phone number. And I will now uh, traffic light. So I need to choose something with traffic light. And uh, now I will receive a code. So I will enter it. And now it's setting up. So uh, what will happen is actually that um, in a couple of seconds, I have now the users, uh, 25 users. This is my administration. You see, this is the name of the tenant. And I have a E5 sus subscription. And actually I can even um, create my first uh, site. So I clicked on SharePoint and I will click on start and I can define uh, the name and uh, all kinds of things here. Let's just click next. I'll click next and um, now I need to log in with the password of the admin. And uh, it talks about some uh, security. I'll, I'll show you how to uh, remove that. And uh, actually, you see what I have here. I can click later. Um, let's click later. Um, now I can actually log in with my uh, admin. So let's just uh, put uh, office.com. I'll sign in. So you see it, uh, it showed me actually, it gives me my, the possibility to log in with this uh, user. I'll just copy this. So I have it for the next time. So this is the account SharePoint Wizard 196 is the one that I created it and this is the admin user. So I will click skip and I will uh, say yes. And now I am in the new environment. Um, let, let's see. So you see, actually, I have all of the possibilities. Uh, for instance, if I go to SharePoint, I'll log in, click skip, and now I uh, actually can create my first site. If it's a team site or communication, let's choose team site, let's call it team, and uh, click next. And actually, now I'm in my own uh, sandbox where I can do anything I want. Um, you see here, for instance, I can add uh, new members. So the number members that are here, for instance, I could add a user called Alex, press save. And here you see, uh, I can do that. Now, uh, if you want to see you can go to the admin center and we can see what are the users. Let's log in. Let's skip this. And 
and under users we can see all of the active users for this tenant that was already created so you see Alex all of these users I think 25 of those you can use and uh, you can do anything you want now in order to prevent uh, this security um, thing that they set by default we will go to the admin center and we will go to the Azure Active Directory let's log in let's skip and what we will do is actually look for some preferences I'll go to the Active Directory here and look for the properties and if we go down by the way you might want to change the tenant here but here you have access management for Azure so we can click manage security default and we can click enable security default to no and now this will actually cancel um, the default security next time we log in we will not be asked to, to do this thing so this is how we do it um, the other way that um, the customized uh, tenant takes long and each time you need to uh, create the mail and other things but the only thing it doesn't give you in, in the fast way we did it is to uh, choose a, a tenant name uh, but if we go here actually we can do whatever we want for instance if I want to add uh, the users to targeted release I can go to uh, the admin center and I can go to settings I can go to organization settings I can go to organization profiles and for release preference I can for instance say targeted release for selected users click OK and now I can uh, add a specific users that will have a targeted release so I can add myself and I could add maybe Alex and now uh, Alex and, and me are now in a targeted release all of the rest are not so this is a fast uh, hopefully you learn something and now you can play around and uh, see you in the next uh, episode if you like my channel subscribe goodbye